okay. It took me a while to get the snow off, but uh, the pen ain't collapsing. And in the meantime, while I was doing that, the sheep came out, so here they are. And I walked back up to the barns with me. Hey guys! They should be. Well, that's a weather the guy closest to us, but the rest uh, of the bigger sheep are all pregnant. Um, Leroy there missed getting sheared because she was being next to impossible to catch, so we'll be in, end up doing her very early in the spring. And the rest of them, these are a ram and a ewe from um, January, and in front of them, leading away the is uh, Dolly and the other one there is Babs, and they should be, oh, right around Christmas here. Here's the uh, the two loose chickens, a rooster and hen. The manure pile that we keep spreading. Are you going to come up, girl? You can see she's getting pretty big. She's had triplets before, and it looks like she might possibly have triplets again. You are wide. <laughs> come on, let's go. We can go up here and get you some hay or corn. They, they love their cracked corn, that's for sure. This is the uh, one of the gates to the sheep pasture. And then this is kind of a yard area up here by the barns. This is a a little dilapidated shed that has that was God knows how old. But the sheep love it, so it's very low roofed and not <laughs> Not very wind resistant, but they really like to hang out in it, so we've left it. They also have access to the back of the barn here. A good dry area to be out of the weather in. And the little white building up there is we keep all the uh, saddles and halters and ropes and stuff. And here's Picasso. And that was the tour.